Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain how we treat different lumps and bumps that can come up on the eyelids. Uh, these can be removed surgically most of the time in the office. And first I like to explain some of the most common things that we see on the eyelids. Uh, one would be papillomas. These can be growths from the skin uh, that can come up sometimes quickly or over time. Uh, other things could be cysts. Sometimes we see these are clear fluid filled cysts or sometimes they are white. Uh, one of the most common things that we see is a chalazion. Uh, this can be from a blocked oil gland in the eyelids. Uh, these can come up pretty quickly and cause a lot of redness and pain. Or once the redness goes away they could leave a knot inside the eyelid for some time. Uh, on the malignant side, basal cell Carcinomas are the most common malignancy of the eyelid, although these are much less common than the other types of problems. And then the other malignant one that's less common than basal cell but can be more aggressive is a squamous cell carcinoma. So in order to treat these, first we will give an injection of numbing medicine into the eyelid. Uh, this will sting, it will burn, but it won't last very long and is very effective to numb the eyelid and make the patients comfortable for the remainder of the procedure. Uh, then uh, we will carefully clean and prep the area uh, to make sure that uh, all bacteria as much as possible uh, is not present there before we go ahead and make an incision to remove the uh, bump or the lump from the eyelid. Uh, on the ones that are on the skin, we usually will go uh, straight add the skin and remove them. Uh, if they are deeper, we may need to go a little bit deeper into the eyelid, uh, but a lot of times if they're close to the surface, we may be able to remove them very close to the surface uh, to allow for more quick healing. Uh, Chalazion is one of the uh, most common problems that we remove from the eyelid, and with those, I like to go underneath the eyelid on the inside uh, to cut and then drain out this blocked oil that's on the inside to get it to be removed. After the spot is removed, we will send it to pathology uh, for them to know, uh, let us know if there's anything dangerous or malignant there, and then uh, we will repair the eyelid. So with Chalazion, a lot of times I just like to leave it open on the inside to heal on its own, but ones on the surface, they may need uh, stitches, or if it's small, it may be able to heal on its own as well. So if you have any questions about any spots on your eyelid or the procedures may be needed to repair it, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.